All right, do you guys remember that Christian Dior trench coat that I thrifted? Well, I upcycled it. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't. <laughs> I have plenty of trench coats. I don't need to upcycle that one. But I promise you, after this video, y'all gonna be cutting out some trench coats. Hi, everyone. I'm Angelina, and this is Blueprint DIY, where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Taking a trench coat, and we're going to use this inspiration. This is from a show from the Spring 2020 Runway, and I share all the shows that I really enjoy, and then I made a list of the things that I wanted to do, and that's what this series is. Now, this skirt, automatically when I saw it, I said, ooh, I think that should be made out of a trench coat. It's just the way my brain works. And, like, it is time to cut up. Yes, yes, yes. Let, let's just do it. Let's just do it. And I didn't upcycle the Dior trench coat. For me here in Houston, um, trench coats are a dime a dozen. I don't know why, but they just are. So I can get them pretty easy. I understand that they're not a dime a dozen in other places. So imagine this also could be created out of a men's dresser. I know that most people can find those almost anywhere, um, as well as in your man's closet. So yeah, let's do it. This coat does have some issues. Um, it has some tears, like three tears down here at the bottom. It has some really dark uh, stains in it. So we are going to repurpose it so that it is absolutely amazing. The first thing I'm going to do is try it on and measure like how far above the pockets because I definitely want to use these pockets as pockets um, and how far above the pockets I want to cut and then I'm just going to cut it off just like that. And the top, I don't know what we're going to do with it but of course you know I love a good crop trench coat so. And I forgot to say this does have the belt and we're gonna use that as a waistband. Uh, if not, you can definitely make a waistband out of the scraps. But I want my skirt to be 16 inches. All right, we're gonna cut that once again, making sure we leave seam allowance. So we have these two panels left over to make the little tassels to go down. So this is what we have, it's missing a button. I can take a button from the top of the jacket, but for right now, I'm just going to pin it right here. The main thing we're going to adjust is um, we can take two seams right down the back or you can adjust the side seams. However you see fit, Ooh, it's even a split right there. I'm gonna have to close that down. It's already a mini skirt. I don't think I'm gonna want that open. And when I'm fitting this, the reason I'm putting these pins in is because while I'm fitting this, I don't want that to be opening up and changing the way it fits. All right, let's go try it on and see if we can get it to fit properly. I'm going to try it on inside out and that way I don't have to redo the pants. First thing I want to do is make sure I line the pockets up directly in, on the center of me. And I can already see that I am going to have to adjust the side seams because I don't want my side seams way back here. So that means that I'm going to need to take it in this way. For everybody, it's gonna be different because we're all shaped differently. So I can begin to add pins on the side to make it um, fit properly. All right, so I have the waist. Now let's just go down to make sure I leave room for my hips. The little that I have. Past here, I just want it to kind of flare out. So the bottom is kind of how, close to how it should be. And then we'll take it in from the top. And then it'll fit like that in the back. I have my pants here. I adjusted them just a little bit to make sure that everything was flat. Cause sometimes when you pin it on you, everything kind of shifts a little bit. But I have my pants. I drew a line with my heat erasable pen and that is where i'm going to sew that is so cute <laughs> that is so cute um of course we still got to add the button but um so this is what my curves on the side end up being like of course i always think i got more hips than i do um there's nothing to feel it <laughs> there's nothing to feel it so you can see that little bulge right there um, so I'm just going to flatten out my little curve on the side. 
and then I am going to top stitch it. Um, just a little finishing detail, but I love the effects of these pockets on the side. It's making me look like I have hips, even though I do not. Um, and then of course, you know, my booty is doing what it always do. And that's why I wanted to make this skirt at least 16 inches because of that. I mean, like, honestly, this could be the easiest thing ever. If you just want to go ahead and hem the bottom, you can serge it and hem it. Or if you don't have a serger, just double fold hem and you are good to go. You have a little, the cutest little skirt um, on the top and on the bottom. But I am going to add the belt as a waistband. Um, I'm going to serge the top and then just top stitch this to the top of this. And we need to make the tassels for the bottom. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Like I said, this series is heating up. Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. And definitely, if you see something you want to see my take on it, how I would upcycle it, leave me a comment or you can always DM me on TikTok or Instagram or Pinterest, any of the socials. All right, let's get back to the video. So the back closed, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, let's think about these panels and do I even have enough? I'm gonna go ahead and seam rip the hems and um, open this up so that we can see what we have. All right, so I the longest I could get was this, well, when it's finished, 15 inches. Um, so I am like seam ripping and doing everything I can to get as much fabric as possible. So. I'm taking that apart. All I'm gonna do to get like the absolute most out of this. Wait, ooh, should I make some longer and some shorter? All right, so I'm just gonna cut this here along this fold line. And the first piece I did, I just folded it and folded it to try to get as much as possible from it. And then I'm gonna use these as the example, I guess, so that they're all the same width. But we're gonna try different lengths and see how I like that. Once I get all the strips cut, I will go ahead and finish them like this. So I already have an edge folded at the bottom. I'm gonna do my best to <laughs> fold that in half. Like I am struggling for fabric, so we're gonna, I'm making the most of everything that I have. I'm gonna mess up my iron by going over that sticky part. All right, so that's the fold at the bottom. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over the whole portion of it. I'm just trying to make it as shallow as possible. And I'll do this on all three sides, and then I'll take it to my sewing machine and I will uh, make a top stitch down the side. And in order to get this nice and like lined up, I like to line up edge of the fabric with this little line right here. And you could really line it up with anything you want to. And, and then I move my needle. And that way, all I have to do is watch this edge of the fabric, make sure it's lined up right there and I can go faster. It allows me to sew faster, especially because I have to do a ton of these. All right, we have 16 strips. They all need to cut, be cut apart because I surged the tops of them. All right, I'm gonna put all the long ones on one side, short ones on the other side. And remember I had a rip in one of them. I just put some interfacing. I hope it's not too evident. Like I hate that it's white. Short. So there should be eight short and eight long. And here's our skirt. All right, so all I wanna do is clip them around the edge and see if I can get some sort of like even spacing. And I'm gonna alternate short and long. Ooh, I might be able to put them closer together, but I'm gonna work it out. All right, so this is the whole skirt with everything clipped, I'm going to carefully take it to the sewing machine and go ahead and I think I'm gonna put a basting stitch down just because I want to see how I like it before I move on. So we're gonna do that really quickly and then we'll move on. Okay, so I tried it on. I like how it is going. So I can go ahead and make a permanent stitch and then I'm gonna turn the whole bottom under and create a top stitch. And that is it. 
all right. <laughs> I'm like, all right, calm down. Calm, calm a day. I'm absolutely ridiculous. No one should be this excited about clothes, like literally, except I made it myself. So that gives me the right to be excited. And this one did take quite a bit of time as far as like doing those tassels and moving the buttons, replacing buttons and stuff like that. So I'm so excited it turned out. It turned out better than I thought. And I'm not gonna, without further delay, I'm gonna style it three ways. sometimes and I mean it every time I say it but this is me wrapped up in a nutshell and if you've been watching my channel for any length of time sorry I got loud if you've been watching my channel for any length of time you know I always talk about I love tassels and I love things hanging down so imagine how much I love this look it's everything that I love everything that I love it has layers it has tassels hanging down it has interest it has movement it has texture with the netting I recently thrifted that pink vest and it has come in so, so handy. It's magenta, it's a hot color right now. And I really like all sweater material, anything sweater, anything ribbed, anything like that knitted, I love it. And to have something that has no sleeves so I could wear it in the summertime or even sometimes in the fall and spring here in Houston, it's too hot for sleeves. So to have something like that that I could wear, yes. I'm loving it. And all the shoes I'm wearing in this video are from Zara. They are current. I just got them. They're new in. So I will put the links in the description box for you. You guys know green is my favorite color. Um, this top, I got it from Akira. Can we just give an appreciation for the skirt? Now, I did go back. That Right at the top, I did go back and add a snap right where the front flap is not connected to the belt or the waistband and so that it doesn't come down. And so that was really helpful. Yes, I love the skirt. The movement is everything. And that's what first drew me into it in the runway show. And this is like our fifth, sixth piece in this series. And of course, you guys didn't think I wasn't gonna style it with some of the other pieces. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna style it with two of the other pieces. I'm just, you guys let me know which one is your favorite down below. Also, if you have been following along and you're creating, not necessarily the pieces that I'm making, but if you are creating your own upcycle wardrobe, send me a comment down below. Let me know the things that you're upcycling for spring. I'd love to hear about it. And as always, I definitely have this series as well as another series that we're going back to basics, teaching you guys the things that I know about sewing. I do not proclaim to be a professional, however, I want to teach you guys the things that I know so that you can get to this level of upcycling via Upcycle Queen, yes. So definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.